Hey, it's Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Dometic PLB40 Portable Lithium 40 Amp Battery. Let's take a look at some of the features that make this particular battery an excellent choice for people that want to power their Dometic fridge freezers. So here we have a Dometic CFX3 refrigerator, and this particular battery is very well suited to provide multiple days of charging off-grid with this for this particular fridge freezer. So the lithium ion phosphate battery makes for a very small form factor. So let's take some measurements so you get a good idea of the exact size. So we'll go ahead and put down the stainless steel handle and our total height is right at 10 inches. Our total width is right about eight inches. And then the depth is about seven and a half inches. And the unit weighs in right about 16 and a half pounds. So a very lightweight, small form factor and very powerful unit. So generally what you'll find is you'll get about 40 to 50 hours of charge time out of this fully charged unit, depending on the size of your CFX3 fridge freezer. This one, which is a 55 liter, could potentially run off-grid, powered solely on the, the lithium battery for about 48 hours. So that combined with the fact that you can charge this with your 12 volt charger in your vehicle to and from your destination, you could easily have the refrigerator or freezer running for many days at a time. Okay, so let's take a, a few look, a few moments to look at some of the different features here. So here we have the various outputs. You have two USB-A charge ports, and then you also have two 12 volt charge ports. Now the difference between these two is that this middle one can, can function as a two pin design. So let's take a little closer look at that so you have a better idea of, of what a two pin design is. So here is a typical 12 volt. This is a charge cord that's included with this unit. So that plugs in and many people are, are familiar with this as it's sometimes referred to as a cigarette lighter, which you see in most automobiles. Okay, now what we can do is we can actually spin off, unscrew this portion and disconnect that 12 volt. And now you have a two pin. And so the two pin allows you to use this other port. So that way, if you need this 12 volt for some other charging application, you can just convert over to that one. And so you have two different methods of charging. Also, since we're Looking closely at this, let's take a look at some of the protection features that this unit offers. One is right at this 12 volt charger. We have the top that comes off and there is a fuse there that allows you to be protected in case of surges. On the back of the unit, we have two more fuses. So we have multiple levels of protection also Dometic includes two spare fuses to take with you for these, these two protection points. Now on this side, we also have the input. So here we have the input for our AC charge cable. So here's the AC charge cable that's included with, with this portable battery. Here's your ballast. Here's your plug to plug it into a standard 110 household outlet. And then this is the connector that you see here that you plug in at that point right there. Now the last input is this one, which is referred to as an Anderson input. It's a DC input as well, and that's, and that's where that goes. So you have multiple options for charging and for input and for output. Now on the top of the unit, we have the power button and the display. So we can go ahead and power it up by holding on that button for three seconds. And then your, your screen will 
will light up the LED screen. Okay, and now it can, you can see we have 92% charge on this unit. And currently it's just showing the battery status without any inputs or outputs. So let's go ahead and start charging up the fridge freezer here. And to do that, we'll go ahead and use the, the charge cable that comes with the refrigerator. So this is the charge cable that comes with the refrigerator. We'll go ahead and plug that into our DC out. And then we'll come over to the side of the Dometic and go to the input. Okay, now we can look at the display and we can see how now we have the arrow pointing to output. And also, if you look at the display on the refrigerator unit itself, you can see how we have incoming charge of that DC input into the refrigerator. Now we also have the option to plug in the AC outlet, so I can go ahead and do that to bring an input into the, so we have a AC outlet positioned behind this TV monitor. So now with that plugged in, we can see we have the charge into the battery icon and the output coming out of the battery icon. So now this input could also be from your vehicle charge port, your DC charge port. And that's also works on some newer vehicles that may have a smart alternator. And those are becoming more common. We're starting to see those on uh, European vehicles due to EU regulations. And so this is compatible with smart alternators. Another input source could be solar panels. And this is compatible with solar panels with or without a controller. So very high functioning, excellent choice for people that are looking for off-grid solutions so that you can power your Dometic CFX3 fridge freezer. This product and the full line of Dometic products are available at RackAttack.com. If you have any questions or comments on this particular product, feel free to leave those in the comments section below and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2000 rack related videos and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching.